Hi guys! Um, I know it's been a while since I've done a video and um, I wanted to come to you today with um, kind of a random haul video with <laughs> lots of stuff, not just scrappy stuff. Um, so I'm going to go through my scrappy stuff first for those of you who aren't interested in the other stuff. Um, it's stuff that I've gotten from like yard sales and thrift stores and other stuff. Um, mostly for Halloween and some Christmas um, decorations and stuff. So, yeah. Um, but like I said, I'll go through that um, after I go through the scrappy stuff. So, um, the first thing I got was actually probably like a month or so ago, I got this stamp set from Lil Inker Designs. Um, and it's just super, super cute, and it coordinates with this die that says, seriously. So there's, like, seriously awesome, you know, you just pair the that with it, or you could use them by themselves. But um, I loved that. As soon as I saw this, I think this was their July release, but as soon as I saw that, I just, I had to have it. So I got that, like I said, like a month or so ago. Um... Then the other day at Joann's, I found this Teresa Collins 6x6 pad. It's called Hello My Name Is. There's actually two different um, paper pads for this collection. The other one kind of has more like cut apart like phrases and that kind of stuff. And this one was more generic. And I really love the patterns in it and everything. So I just had to... Oops. And as you can see, I've used it already. Um, but yeah, I, I absolutely love that. There was a lot of cute stuff in that collection. Um, and then I also, the other day, seen a bunch of brand new stuff at My Joann's. Um, My Joann's does not carry um, a lot of the cool stuff, <laughs> like from Teresa Collins and Heidi Swap and all that kind of stuff normally. But they must have gotten under new management or something because... They started carrying a lot of cool stuff. So um, I got these two, and they're from Studio 112, which I had never heard of. Um, and I've kind of been out of the scrappy loop for a while, so that's not saying much. But I got these little favor bags and um, this little banner kit, which I think is so cute. And these are only a dollar a piece. I wanted to go nuts on this whole collection, and they have several different colorways with these same products and lots of others. Um, and I just, I absolutely loved these, so I just had to have those. Um, and then I was super excited. I've been waiting for them to get these. They're the Tim Holtz Arrows, and they're just so cool. You can see I already opened them. Um, but, yeah, sorry for the glare, guys. <laughs> I don't know if my camera will focus on them. But they are super, super cool, and I was so excited that my Joann's finally got them. Um, okay, so that's it for the scrappy stuff, and then I'm going to go into stuff like for Halloween and actually let me show you really quick um, a couple digital images that I got from Saturated Canary. Um, the first one is this one it's called Ugly Christmas Sweater and I absolutely love it. I actually already made a card with her. Um, the next one was this one called Molly um, or Mally, however you want to say it. She's basically Maleficent, which I absolutely love that movie. And then the next one was this one, and it's called The King, I think. Um, super, super cute for uh, Christmas cards. So, there. That's my scrappy stuff. Um, and I did order the new Simon Says Stamp Mama Elephant um, collab stamp, the little superhero one. But it's not going to be here for a couple days. And I really wanted to film this video for you guys. So, um, you'll have to... I'll probably make a video with that. Um, not as a haul, but just as a card tutorial. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to share that. Okay, so now on to the non-scrappy, but still kind of crafty type stuff. Um, you guys all know that I love home decor and stuff, so that's basically what this is. Um, real quick, I want to share some really cool cameras that I got at a yard sale recently. Um, I got this a couple weeks ago, but this is an old video camera, actually. And I just think it is so, so cool looking. I absolutely love this. Um, and I've always wanted to have, like, a vintage camera collection. 
and up until now I only had one, but now I have uh, these other two, so now I have three. Um, <laughs> so it kind of feels like an actual collection now. Um, so I have that one, and then I found this really cool old Polaroid with like the accordion um, style thing. It's really, really cool. I absolutely love it. So I have those two now, and then my old one. Um, okay, and then uh, the rest of the stuff I kind of want to share is um, Halloween mostly, and then a few little Christmas things that I picked up. Um, so this year for Halloween, I want to kind of redirect, I guess you would say, my decorations. Um, before, I had lots of colors. I had like green and purple and orange and of course black and um, all these different colors. And this year I've kind of decided to get away from having so many colors and do mostly kind of like a more rustic looking Halloween. Um, you know, with like burlap and like natural textures and um, colors. And then I still want to have orange in there to make it feel more Halloween-like. Um, so um, one of the things that I had from last year was a bunch of these bottles. I had a lots of different shapes and sizes that I got a few years ago actually from Hobby Lobby. And obviously the colors don't really go now. So what I decided is I'm going to alter these by painting them, and I don't know, um, some of them I might do black, um, but I also um, found this silver metallic. Now, um, I looked up on Pinterest how to do like a faux um, mercury glass look, and they recommended that you use the, I think it's by Krylon, maybe it's Rust-Oleum or something, um, brand called Looking Glass. Well. I went to Walmart and I seen a little can, probably like this big, of that, and it was probably about that big around, um, for $9, and there was no way I was paying that, because I have a lot of bottles to cover. Um, so I got, the closest thing I could find was this, and I'm going to try it, and basically you, you paint your item with this, and then you put like white vinegar in a spray bottle, and kind of mist it. And basically, what I from what I saw, it's kind of like when you put water over a distress ink, it just kind of removes the color in those spots. And so I'm hoping that it still works with this. But either way, I still like the look of this, and I might even go in with like a little bit of um, a darker color just to kind of grunge them up a little bit. Um, but I got two cans of this to do that with, and I actually have a lot of things that I want to paint with with that but I'm gonna take these labels off and possibly replace them or I might put them back on after we'll kind of wait and see because these are still the black with a little bit of orange so they would still go um, but yeah so I have a bunch of those and then um, I really like the idea of having like this big apothecary not big but like you know <laughs> a little apothecary looking area and so um, I have these jar, or I don't know what you call them, like vials, I guess, from Tim Holtz. And I had a few of them left over from a package I bought years ago. And um, I decided to get another pack. And then I got two of these little bottles from Walmart that were 97 cents each. And I want to create some type of really cute little uh, top, little stopper for these. Um, but I want to fill these with stuff. Um, i seen one post on Pinterest somewhere where they actually got some of their dog's hair and put it in a thing and put a label on it that said like werewolf fur or something like that. And I thought that was so cute because my dog has really long black hair. So it would totally work with that. Um, I've seen where they use like dried cantaloupe peels and stuff, which I don't think I would actually want to use. But it looked cool, um, and they put like a label that said like ogre ears or something like that on there. But I think things like potpourri, some of those things look really, really funky and like oddities, you know? And so I think that's kind of more <laughs> what I would do rather than using actual food. Um, but the dog hair thing was totally genius, so <laughs> I might do that with some of these um, a little vials. And then I have to show you this awesome, awesome jewelry box that I got the other day at a thrift store. And I paid more for it than I wish I would have. 
and more than I intended, but I'm so in love with it that I don't even care anymore. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry about my voice. Um, so I got this old jewelry box, and it opened, look at this, I love it, it's so cool. So it opens up like this, which is so, like, old school apothecary, right? And then there's all these little drawers, and I plan to have, like, the little vials kind of sticking out of here, um, and even these, like, larger bottles, and... Yeah, so I'm going to paint these, or this. I like that the inside is yellow. It's kind of a goldish color, um, and I like that. But I love the idea of having all these little vials in here just kind of hanging out. And this actually is a music box. There's music to it, too, which kind of adds to the creeper factor. Even though it's a really beautiful song, it does kind of a little bit creepy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just, I absolutely loved that. And when I saw this, I totally thought, apothecary. So um, I'm going to paint this and have these hanging around with, you've probably seen all these bottles right here that I need to repaint. And um, then I have like big apothecary, I think they're actually called apothecary jars that I got at um, Michael's and TJ Maxx. And I use them all year round. A lot of times I put potpourri in them. For Christmas I put like um, colorful ornaments in them and stuff but I got some stuff to put in those also and so I'll have like this whole apothecary looking thing which I'm super excited about um, then at the same thrift store that I got the jewelry box I came across this and I didn't know what it was <laughs> I still don't know what it is but um, I think it's actually broken but it's it was sitting on the shelf like this and I thought wow that's got some really cool like vintagey detail to it and then I took the top off and this is actually it looks like it's broken glass so I'm wondering if this used to be a bottle of something and this would be the topper but I really don't know so if any of you know I mean it doesn't really matter to me because I'm still gonna use it but um, this in particular I thought would be really cool if I repaint it. Um, and then I have a bunch of different sized jars. Like this is just a little tiny um, mason jar that I have. But um, if I spray paint this and this to match and then like use some of that E6000 or 600, whatever it's called, uh, glue and have that. I just, I really want this to not look like a mason jar but to look very kind of elegant and a little bit spooky. Um, so I'm looking for lots of fun stuff to kind of like top my bottles and jars and all that kind of stuff with. And I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with this, even though I absolutely love it. It's so cool. So, anywho, um, there's that. And then I went to the dollar store and got a few things. Uh, I got this little pack of furry spiders to put in one of my apothecary jars, um, and um, I got a couple of crows. I actually already have one, but I wanted a couple more um, just to kind of have around. I have a, a bird cage that I'm going to have one or two of these in uh, on the shelf. And then um, last year I had one of my apothecary jars that had some of that like plastic it's kind of like Easter grass, I guess, but it was black. Um, just basically filler. Um, I had that in there, and then I had a bunch of different colored of uh, plastic or styrofoam skulls. So I had green and black and purple. So since I'm doing away with the all the colors, I kept the black ones, but I got a couple of these um, silver ones to replace the colored ones. And these actually um, light up different colors. But I don't plan on using that. And actually those two don't even work. But I was totally fine with that. Because I don't plan on lighting them up anyways. Um, so those will go in some of my bigger apothecary jars. Um, and then. Let me see. Just a couple more things. I got um, for Christmas. Which I know it's kind of weird. I got all this Halloween stuff. And then I got Christmas too. Um, but yeah. I found these really cute. Um snowshoe looking things at the thrift store. I think it was like $1.25 for the set, which was really cool. Um, and then I found these at Big Lots. Um, they're these 
ornaments that are reindeer and I don't know that I'll actually use these as ornaments I, I have a couple other ideas to use um, for them so I thought maybe I have a circle plaque and I thought I might take one and put it on there kind of like you know a little <laughs> a little deer head plaque I thought would be kind of cute just like a little miniature one maybe for my scrap room because I love like deer heads I think they're so fun and cool um, very trendy <laughs> uh, so I had to get those um, but anyway, so that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and hopefully I'll be back soon. Um, I'm hoping to post photos on my blog of a lot of the projects of me redoing stuff for Halloween and just doing stuff, uh, new stuff also. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I will actually get around to doing that, to getting pictures and posting them on my blog. So um, if nothing else, I will post them on my Facebook. So. Um, I hope you guys will um, check out all of that kind of stuff. And yeah, so I hopefully will talk to you soon, but no guarantees here. You guys know how I am about being consistent. So, um, but anyways, thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.